are in Corinthos, Greece. Corinthos, Greece. Corinthos, Greece. And we're here to see this giant canal, the Corinthian Canal. You'll see it in a little bit. And maybe we'll see a little bit of the surrounding areas and eat some stuff, you know? That's what we do here. And some sweet treats, maybe? You know what we haven't brought up on this vlog? Katrina got a master's degree recently. Why are we talking about this Because right I, I think it deserves being mentioned that you finished your master's degree. That's a random thing to like say right now. Well, honestly, in the Maldives, I meant to bring it up because it was kind of like a, uh, like congrats, we're done with your master's degree trip. Yeah. But I didn't. So now here we are and I wanted to say congrats on your master's degree in front of all these people. I mean, I appreciate the shout out. Yeah, shout out to Katrina. <laughs> Katrina, I present you a naked Poseidon. He doesn't have any eyes. It's a little concerning to me. It looks like at one point he had some kind of spear or a trident of some sort or something, but I bet somebody took it, so along with his eyes. So we have sweet treats. Uh, what do you want to- You guys didn't know. Coke tastes different in every country. I do like the Coke Zero in Greece. It's kind of spicy. You're kind of spicy. I approve. Poseidon's kind of spicy. Our first sweet treat here in Corinthos. Why am I talking Corinthos? Right now? Because you always stand on the slope. You try and make yourself taller to make me look short. It's a power play on your part. I know what you do. Now, oh, look, I'm taller now. Are you though? Yeah. We're gonna start with the honey bites. This is a sesame seed bar with sultania raisin. Ew, no, I vetoed this already. No, we're doing it. Fail. We're doing it. It's not a good one. We stopped in a great little uh, roadside convenience store. From 1964. This little stretch of road here reminds me of like Route 66 or like 1972 United States type look. Yeah. Old school. All right, here we go. I don't think the signs have been updated since 1972 either. Do you like sesame seeds? No, you just said that I don't. Do you like honey? Apparently I like honey in Greece. Oh, that's good. Do you like raisins? No. You're gonna love this. Do you like it? It's not bad. I don't love sesame no, seeds. No, it's like, it's just like a cluster of sesame seeds. Yeah, filled with honey and raisins. No. Zero out of 10. Okay, my turn. Waffle nougat with peanut. Mmm, huh? nougat. I mean, you know. Peanut nougat? Okay. No, peanuts. Oh, peanuts in the nougat. The wafer's stale. I was gonna say, that's been there since 1972. The nougat actually has pretty good flavor. I like that. A little stale. But I do like the flavor of the nougat. I didn't get much peanut. Okay, that's a win. Six and a half out of 10 points off for the stale wafer. I don't make the rules, even though I do. No, you literally do make the rules. This is um, also nougat. This is nougat with fruits. This is like fruitcake type fruits. Is that pineapple maybe? That's kiwi. That's kiwi. I'll, I'll leave that for you. You don't like kiwi? It tastes like dirty water. Cucumbers and kiwi. Dirty water. It's more nougat and wafer. You didn't eat the kiwi. I don't want the kiwi. Kiwi be gone. I'm not going to litter. I thought I was going to litter. See? Put it back in the bag. I like the nougat and all this stuff. Same. Six and a half out of ten. You didn't even try the fruit. Well, what would you rate it, Mr. I ate the fruit? I would definitely rate this like 76 concrete pavers out of a thousand olive trees. Greece. That's not very good. 76 out of a thousand? Yeah, but you don't know the scale there. The scaling you don't is weird. Either. Shush. Ah, now for something savory. These are literally Lay's chips, Katrina. They're crackers. Lay's crackers. All well, the writing's in Greek. We don't have these though. Like this flavor. Oh no. Uh oh. Let me smell. Oh. This appears to be bell pepper and leaves. <laughs> I like the cracker though. The cracker's thick and crunchy. I'm good on that. Ugh. I like it. I'm not gonna rate that one. But I know what you are gonna rate because you're about to do. So I guess we're calling this a donut. I don't actually know what this is. The top and bottom, like the sandwichy parts of it actually look like a black and white cookie, how it's more like cake and obviously chocolate on the top. And then in the middle, I don't know what that is, some kind of cream. Oh wow, oh no, hmm. 
I don't think this is a donut. I told you it's not a donut. I don't know what it is though. What would you classify this as? Looks like a cake pie. A moon pie? It's very gooey. Like it's wet. The cream in the middle actually is, is really good. The chocolate has a good flavor on top. But for me, I'd like the cake to be a little bit drier. I mean, it's not bad. Five out of 10? Yeah, five out of 10. <laughs> So we're at the Corinth Can Canal. Going to be on a bridge over the Corinth Canal. We're staring at the bridge over the Corinth Canal. It's impressive, it's deep, it's 80-ish feet wide. Four. We're 300 feet above sea level right now. Yeah. And how long is this canal? Four miles? Four miles. Four miles. This was started and stopped over and over and over throughout history. I mean, they started it back in 700 BC. People are bungee jumping off. We just heard now. dude bungee jump off the edge. He was very scared going down, I think. This literally took like millennia to get this thing dug because this cuts across from a couple of the seas that surround Greece, so it's like a shipping corridor. This connects the uh, the Peloponnese area of Greece to the mainland. When was it finished? Late 1800s? Late 1800s, yeah. And then it's still closed and open because it cut through the limestone, so it's not very stable. They keep having landslides, so they have to shut it down. Actually, one just happened back in 2021. So it's just like in a constant state of disrepair. So there's a the inclination of the walls are between 71 and 77 degrees. So not quite vertical, but I mean, you know, pretty darn close. Walking on this bridge. Oh, wow. That's a long way down. 300 feet. Wow. It's kind of a strange thing. Like, we drove a long ways to get to this. We had some time today, but. Uh... I think it's cool. I think the history of it is very interesting, too. How it, like, started and stopped a bunch until they finally, like, almost in the 1900s, figured out how to, like, make it all work. They had to use a lot of slaves to build this, right? Like... I mean, I guess. That's like the bad part about the olden days, is like, they just threw manpower at it, but they didn't pay them. Is that confirmed with this, though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. just guessing. And now it's like turned into a tourist trap where you have little shops and stuff all around it. You can probably take boats through it, but we cannot seem to find that. It's really hard to find any information on it. You can charter a yacht, but Nate didn't want to do that today. Nate's credit card didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm having a total internal fight with myself because I really want to jump off this bridge. Like, I really want to jump. Why don't you do it? <sighs> the peer pressure is appreciated. There's a few reasons I don't want to do it. The cable is very frayed. I don't like that. Um, but really, I, I'm going to get all sweaty and nervous, and then I got to be in this shirt all day because we got to fly home later. There's it's a bunch okay. of people waiting. It'd be, I'll be here two hours. I'm not scared. I bungee jumped when I was like much younger. Where? At a fair. Oh my thing. God, talk about sketch. You worried about this bit at a fair, you jumped? There was a net and it was not that tall. That's probably the most sketch place that you could possibly do anything. Knowing what I know now, <laughs> yes. Can Don't we think about things like that? Can we find some food up in this joint? Well, you know what? It wouldn't be Nate and Katrina doing the world if we weren't going to eat food. Let's so, eat some food. Look at the poor doggy. Oh, he it's hot lives, out. I oh, know. he does live he there. Lives there. Okay, that's He's fine. He's got water. Hey, look. I gotta tell you, the drivers in Greece, I don't know what y'all think of dangerous. Just riding into other lanes, pulling out in front of you, there's no rules. That's okay. It's like Mario Kart up in here. So when did they turn the air conditioning on out here?
for our last Greek meal on our trip here to Greece. We have come to Tavern the Garden. It's really beautiful, sitting al fresco outside. Beautiful view of the Aegean Sea. Going to have some souvlaki and just kind of enjoy our final hours here. And there's kitty cats everywhere, so Nate's happy. Chicken souvlaki, it's probably my favorite Greek meal. It's literally just chunks of chicken on a skewer cooked over fire, nothing better. Got a wedge of lemon, I've got my skewer of chicken. I've got kitty cats all around. I've got the ocean or the sea or some big body of water. The sun, my pretty girl. Life's pretty good, I have to admit. It's been a good trip to Greece. <laughs> Not only is the chicken good, but like, that's a lemon wedge. Don't give me some little tiny slice. I want like a quarter of a lemon in my life so I can just, you know, yeah. Oh, I'm full. Had a lot of Greek food on this trip. It's all been really good too. Done with food and walking to the edge of the earth or into the water, maybe? Maybe not. I think we can cross over, possibly. Let's... Gotta be a little beach down here or something. Let's see. It is 92 degrees out. We're flying back home tonight, so I was trying not to get sweaty, so I apologize to whoever's sitting next to me on the plane. Wow. I can't get over how clear and beautiful the water is here. This is definitely like a local spot, kind of a hidden little beach down right by where we had lunch and it's a perfect place. No waves, It'd be great to just like cool off in the water for an hour or five. Let's not go home. Oh yeah, now we need to go home.